Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ron with Tech Tips To Go. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an email signature in Microsoft Outlook running on a MacBook Pro 2018. So let's get started. And the first thing you wanna do is open up Outlook. After opening up Outlook, the first thing you wanna do is come over here, click on File, New, and Email. Just do a test again. Now once you have your email set up, what I like to do, come over here to Signature. You can go to Edit Signatures. And now you can do a plus. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to edit just over here on the, the bottom left here. So you can start putting in information. And when you create your email signature, what you can do is you can add a picture. I, I wouldn't recommend adding a picture because that email might take a little bit longer. Uh, links are okay, um, such as ron at so and so company.com. Click on OK. So every time someone wants to reply and click on there, it'll automatically open up their email account provider. In my case, it'll open up uh, Microsoft Outlook running on my Mac and it'll automatically put that into the to line. So after that, what you can do, you can add tables if you want. Um, I would just keep it pretty basic. Maybe you might want to bold. Uh, some people like to make this a link sometimes, so they'd actually copy, highlight this, create a link, right? and uh, you know what, you can do this mail too. So over here, they would highlight this, create a link, and an email address. So then you just insert uh, your email address. And click OK. So now you actually have a, a clickable link here. If someone were to click on this, and let's just click on it. So as soon as we click on it, it opens up that right away. So let's close this again. And once you're finished everything, all you have to do is just click on the Save button on the top left. And that's it. Now you have a signature, and it's an untitled signature. So what you can do, you can edit it, and you can just put a default Ron G. Click away and that's it. So now let's close this and let's go to the email. So let's say you're writing an email to someone. Now what you can do is on the drop down box you can put in your your email. Now let's go into the feature on how to always leave a signature on a reply and on a send or a forward. So in this option, what you can do is come over to tools. So what you want to do, if you wanted to leave your signature on all replies, and if you want to leave your signature on all forwards and copy twos, what you want to do is just come over to signature, go over here, edit signatures, highlight the one that you just created or the one that you want. And on your account, on a new message, you want to use the default one, and any replies or forwards, you want to click on the default one. And that is it. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.